A healthy American economy depends on a prosperous rural economy. One way USDA is committed to strengthening that economy is through promoting local and regional food systems. By providing financing and developing infrastructure for all the steps of the food supply chain, processing, aggregation, distribution, shipping, and sales, we are creating more jobs and prosperity in rural America while ensuring that our families have access to fresh, safe, and healthy food. This video highlights just a few successful partnerships between USDA's rural development and local businesses and communities to further this mission. You'll hear about how three of our 47 rural development programs have been put to good use to further this innovative economic growth. I hope this video inspires you to learn more about all of rural development's programs and how many of them can be used to create opportunity through building local and regional food systems. USDA Rural Development strengthens communities through programs and services that build a foundation for prosperity and success across rural America. Through a greater focus on food and food systems, we provide opportunities for farmers and ranchers to succeed and rural America to thrive, while ensuring everyone can eat fresh, healthy, and delicious food. The Resource Connections Food Bank received a direct loan from Rural Development's Community Facilities Program to build a facility for food storage and distribution. Because they have cold storage for the first time, they are available to accept donations of fresh food from local farmers and community gardeners. The Resource Connection is a private nonprofit organization. The food bank serves all of Calaveras County. We serve a rural community, um, about 45,000 is our population. We've seen a, a great increase. Um, our numbers um, are probably up at between 23 and 25 percent over last year. Um, that is the number of families that we're serving, sometimes up to 700 families a month directly here at the food bank. The need is great. Before we moved into the food bank, um, we operated um, at a facility that had two tough sheds, uh, outside refrigeration and freezer unit that was covered, um, and uh, our box truck, and that's what held our food. And we actually had to turn food away. There were times that we just couldn't take it because we couldn't store it. Our community came together in just an amazing way before we even knew what the economy was going to do and started planning this building several years ago. We came upon a local egg farmer that comes in about once a week and brings us eggs. Um, very exciting because that's a commodity we don't get very often um, and to have it local is really meaningful for us and also the farmer. People love buying Calaveras grown eggs. We decided to see if the food bank would like some. We also have farmers that will bring food in on a regular basis um, that helps us with fresh fruits and vegetables. Um, our program over the summer with our community gardens was huge, uh, with over 7,000 pounds brought into the food bank during that period of time. It was just amazing, and I would get letters from our recipients that would say, the food was great, but thanks so much for the fresh vegetables. We were in a process of looking for financing and we're finding it very difficult to find financing. We got it from the USDA through the Community Facilities Program. I can just tell you that working with USDA, um, we felt like they were partners with us all along. Um, from the application process, if there was any questions on how to get through that, um, it was not a hard thing to do. Advice, getting the community support was really important and we were able to get about a hundred letters of support from our community. And in that process, it really showed the USDA that we were committed and we had a community that was committed to seeing the food bank become a reality. Our main purpose is assistance to rural areas. In California, we have 18 offices throughout the state. Well, this was a good project when I was contacted, uh, we came up and had a meeting, discussed our program and you know what we could do. 
and I get excited because I get to do this. The programs that we offer um, make a difference in people's lives. USDA Rural Development awarded the Winston County Self-Help Cooperative a small social disadvantaged producer grant to help them extend their work supporting local farmers and educating the next generation of farmers and landowners in the surrounding counties. Well, uh, that's our old family house down there. Down, down, down there. And uh, I'm, 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 I'm 75 years old, you know. I grew up there. Well, I helped build a house, and uh, I finished college, and I was packing my stuff, getting ready to get out. Uh, my father said, "I guess you go leave like everybody else, huh?" <laughs> I said, "Yeah, got to find, got, got, got to find a job, you know." And he said, uh, "You know, the land and stuff doesn't mean that much to y'all now, but one day it will." And I thought about it, and I stayed. I, I, I enjoy farm life. The population has been in decline for the past, uh, actually, three decades here in Winston County for various reasons, but the main reason now is that for the lack of employment here in our area. So through our organization, the Winston County Self-Help Cooperative, we're trying to, one, help the people maintain their lands and encourage other individuals to stay in Winston County through our practices that we offer through our organization. We talk about health. If a person doesn't have health, then they won't be able to manage their farm. If they don't have financial skill, they won't be able to maintain the ownership. Then we look at it in terms of uh, longevity. We have to have the next generation of landowners involved in our organization to learn the basic skills that are needed to sustain themselves. We have, uh, with a national reputation as being the most obese state and also the greatest number of people with hypertension. So therefore, we look at this as a process of training the local individual that will help one in the health aspect, then two, it will help improve the economics because the money will be turning over in the community on several occasions other than one time, then it's back into the mainstream. This is our garden spot. We hopefully will start our spring garden just as soon as it dries up and we will do cabbage, um, too early to do peas, green peas turnip greens, mustards, and collars. If you start from the small age to root, that you can build them up. So we're doing the starting them, the same thing with gardening workshops to start them in learning. And I'm a mama, auntie, granny, anything you want to call me, that's what I am to the youth. And as long as I can, I want to just be a, a model for them, uh, to help build their self-esteem and then help them to want to grow vegetables, help them, hey, they can get a career in this. Well, we found out about the uh, Small Social Disadvantage Producer Grant through surfing the, the computer. One of our members inquired about it, and we took time out to investigate the processes. And so we had a meeting with Mr. Kenneth Randall in the Starksville Office of Rural Development, and he told us about the process of what we needed to do. And this has been a plus for our organization because we've been able to extend our services not only to our members, but to other counties in the, in the area. Uh, through various uh, technical support, uh, leadership training, estate planning, and youth development. And we want to look at all small communities who want an opportunity to survive, is to teach them what we're doing here in Winston County, and if that is workable in their community, use it and let's make it happen. And that's what we mean by saving rural America, by saving the, not only the community, but saving those values of those people saving the relationships, saving the home, the schools. That's important. Working with a local community lender, Prairie Land Dairy received a business and industry guaranteed loan from Rural Development to purchase a dairy processing facility that made it possible for the dairy to process and distribute their milk to the local Lincoln, Nebraska market. Um, I, I was born and raised in the dairy business, and I have four children, and I raised them on the farm. It's just a great way to, to raise a family. It was our vision when we, when we at the conception of Prairie Land Dairy to uh, produce and process our own milk 
and then also take uh, everything that we produce at the dairy and, and market it on a, at a retail level locally. Uh, and we're able to help the local economy and, and the fact that uh, we're creating jobs in, in a town that doesn't have a whole lot of jobs right now and is, and is kind of struggling. So we take a lot of pride in that as well. Prairie Land came to us uh, with the, uh, this project in mind to uh, purchase this facility and develop these, um, their uh, markets to, uh, uh, within the Lincoln area to uh, distribute milk. Uh, we were very open to that idea and uh, basically we had sought out uh, USDA to help uh, facilitate this through a, a BNI loan which would um, uh, offer to us as a community bank the ability to uh, loan money to a uh, specialized business like this in a small community, a rural community, where a bank uh, traditionally doesn't uh, uh, have a lot of industry loans. In 2004, uh, Hallam was completely destroyed by a, a tornado, and uh, the rebuilding process has taken quite some time. Uh, the project here with Prairie Land has been part of the rebuilding of Hallam. So basically, uh, to come in here with a uh, a rural development loan really helped encourage uh, uh, job growth and, and rebuilding of the town. So, The, the process of, of acquiring the guarantee was, was uh, very painless. You know, we needed a business plan and a financial plan, but uh, any small business starting up needs that anyway, so it was a good exercise to go through. We've had several meetings where they, uh, they got together, worked on their cash flow, basically presented it to USDA, and uh, the rural development people were very helpful. That the dairy did do a business and industry guarantee loan program and that guarantee loan program allows us as USDA to guarantee the loan with the lender for the borrower so it really is beneficial to these rural communities it allows a community bank to offer a loan to our borrowers and it allows the borrowers to take advantage of hopefully maybe a little better rate in their terms and to get a guarantee on that loan so that if something does happen the lender is protected uh, understanding the importance that they had on really wanting to add value to their milk product and do something where they could get their product to the end consumer. So to see this type of business grow and expand, to see this happen in a rural community is very exciting. I think local foods is really important in rural development. We're often known as a state, an agriculture state that grows lots of things. And we grow corn, we grow soybeans, we grow a lot of cattle and pork. But we don't really take those products and add the value in So when we can do those things locally, then we reap the benefits of having our own employees that we're hiring, of making sure that these businesses stay in our local community. Thanks to the work of the Resource Connection, the Winston County Self-Help Cooperative, and Prairie Land Dairy, rural communities are strengthened and local and regional food systems support economic growth. The USDA Rural Development is proud to partner with them and invites you to explore how rural development can support your neighborhood, business, tribal government, or nonprofit organization. Please contact your local rural development field office and find out more at this website.